to everyone in good Shabbos. This Parsha, we have a double Parsha of Chukat Balak. And I wanted to um, share some ideas that I learned from learning this Parsha. You know, in the beginning of COVID, can everybody hear me? No. Judy, can you hear me? Hello? You can't hear me? You can hear me. Okay. That's what I wanted. Okay. So um, in the beginning of COVID, we had a situation where everybody seemed to be coming together. Hi, Harriet. Um, and uh, we, we were like uniting kind of, even though it was a terrible situation, but the one good part of it was like everybody felt like they needed to be doing something to help themselves stay healthy. And at the same time, we had to think about the other person to stay healthy. So we had this the conjoined relationship with our, our neighbors. Things got dirty and ugly after a few months of COVID and a lot of conflict took place in our country and in the world over different, different issues causing a lot of tension. So much so that everybody seems like very extreme either to the right or the left or on this side of this or that side people, even with COVID, everybody has a different understanding of it and a different belief of how intense it is or not intense it is. So we have so much um, division right now. And in this week's Parsha, we, are, we find out about the death of Aaron. And as people, you know, we are blessed with like amazing leaders that Hashem gave us. We have Moshe and we have Aaron and, and many other leaders, but the two of them, even though they're brothers, they're, they're actually not the same person. You know, my mother always used to say similar, not the same, like almost nothing is exactly the same. So that's, something that actually is is beautiful because there's a uniqueness in every person and it's and in Moshe and Aaron there was a uniqueness in their qualities and the differences in all of us make us special but it also makes us sometimes harder to get along with each other that uniqueness can sometimes be what divides us so, but the key to getting along is like Aaron tried to institute. He was a Rodef Shalom. He wanted to institute Shalom Bay, peace in the home. And that's why Hillel stated, be a student of Aaron, love peace, pursue peace, um, you know, be a Rodef Shalom and Ohev Shalom. These are not passive words, though. These are action words. And Aaron brought peace to people that, were, that had action in a bad way. They were fighting in business. They were fighting in their homes. And he had to be demonstrative. He had to use an action to help bring those couples together, to bring those people together, to help develop the human relationship. Because in life, what is really important? It's relationships. Relationships are what we cherish. So in the 40th year that the B'nai Yisrael was in the desert, um, that's when Aaron dies. And when Moshe returns from the mountain, taking care of Aaron who had just died, he, the people couldn't believe that such a great person could actually die. And so he, Moshe prayed to Hashem that the people would have a vision of Aaron in a bier going up to heaven. And so that's what happens. And then the people believed that he did die. And the entire congregation, and the Torah says the entire congregation saw that Aaron had perished and they wept for 30 days, the entire house of Israel. Now, Aaron, when Aaron was mourned, the entire house of Israel, um, Rashi explains that that means the men and the women. So Rashi contrasts the depiction the depiction of uh, the mourning for Aaron with the mourning for Moshe by Yifku B'nai Yisrael et Moshe. So in that case, it says B'nai Yisrael. The other one said all of B'nai Yisrael. So the difference was that Moshe was, you know, 
honored by everybody, but in, with Aaron, it said specifically the men and the women. In other words, the women felt a loss for Aaron because he was involved in helping with their marriages, with the Shalom Bayi. Um, and even though Aaron could have, you know, he was a very great person, a great leader, like Moshe, they were both very high leaders, but he had that like individual contact, that more personal contact, whereas Moshe was taking care of the physical and the emotional religious needs of the entire nation. But Aaron also had great responsibilities, but he was able to have that little um, communication with the couples that were having difficulty. So we see that even two great leaders, I'm just giving an example of two people in our Parsha, two great leaders could be different and similar in their skills. And every person, everybody has different uniqueness and we all have ideas and none of us are bad people. We'll just have, we want to get to the goal of peace, but we want to get there in a different way. I think somebody's not muted here. Um, okay, one second. Okay, so this is what I'm taking away from, from this Parsha is that there are different, not just that, of course, that Aaron was a, a Rodev Shalom, that let's think of a piece of a puzzle, that all the pieces of the puzzle need to be put together so nicely to make it a whole puzzle. The same way in the, the world, we can each look at our differences and be turned away from them, or we can look at our differences and, and grasp them and try to unify us and try to make peace with it and accept the fact that somebody's ideas might be different than our ideas. So each person holds that secret piece and without one piece, the puzzle's not completed. So that's the importance of every single picture on this page that I see here, every single person. And sometimes, you know, when you go to a YouTube and they sing a song and at the end of this Parsha, there's a song that's sang because they have this beautiful well in front of them. And so we can sing, you know how they, they show individual instruments and individual singers and it comes together in this most amazing way. And that's how we can be. We are all little pieces of the puzzle and we can sing our own unique song together and bring a beautiful harmony of peace. And with that, I wanna say Shabbat Shalom and we should all have a peaceful Shabbos. And I'm gonna unmute Ari Cohen now Boynton first, there we go. And okay, Ari. Right here. <clears throat> there you are. Okay. <laughs> Rakameko, 
Of the land of my cobbles, of the land of my cobbles, so min khau bawle khats bawsa, shakhu land of my bad rats kodesh, ilu mi pano kolawaret, imru vagai imadonai molo, afti kol tevel balti mo. Lai, 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 yodin amim b'mei shorim Yismichu ha-shomayim b'sogel ho-ovetz Yiram ha-yam u-melo-o Yalla l'asod b'tchol ha-sher b'ov Oz yiranin u-kol ha-tzeyo-ar Lifnei ha-dom ha-kivo Kivo l'ishpot ho-ovetz יש בו תבל וצדק, וימים Ave Adonai, sin ura, Shomer's nafsos chasidov, miyad b'shoim yatsilein. Or zaru ala tzadik ulishwe lei v'simcha, simchu tzadikim b'adonai, v'havdu l'zecher kodsho. Mizmor shivula koshi chodosh, b'mkos yisrael shiyom. Here am I, young Mumalawa, they will be Osha, they walk. The Horosim Kaufoff, Yahad or in Rane, Lift Neadon Noiki, the spoke for it. You spoke, they will be said, the me, the me show me. I don't know what you're busy running. Adam wa yalo he nu ato an isom El no se ho iso lo hem ben no keim al al isom Rol me bu adam wa yalo he nu vishtach kafu la ar kodesh wa hu Ki kadash adam wa yalo he yinu Nizmar le david Avu la donai ben he yelim Ko'ol Adonai, 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 ko'ol Adonai
Kalla dauna ja filmid bor, ja kalla dauna ni bakodesh, kalla dauna ja kalla ja bos, ba ye hesos ye aros, o ve kalla kula wa merkala. Adam Vaila Mabu Yashav, the Yesheva Donai, the Lechle Olam, Adam Vaios, the Amo Yitain, Adam Vaivore, the Samo Vashomon. Lai, 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 Le Lord, <coughs> <coughs> 